Massachusetts has been charging a six and a quarter percent sales tax on alcohol for just over a year now. And while a lot of people would like to see their booze return to sales tax exempt status, one organization wants you to vote no on ballot question one because they say this tax saves lives. It's about saying no tax break for alcohol. Mary Ann Frangoulis is the executive director of MORE, the Massachusetts Organization for Addiction Recovery. She wants you to vote no on question one, which would repeal the state's six and a quarter percent sales tax on alcohol. It's about saying this is the services that are dedicated to this alcohol sales tax which are about prevention, treatment, and recovery, are saving 100,000 lives across our state. The state added the alcohol tax last summer to increase revenues. But Frangoulis says the money does more than help close the budget gap. It pays for services like Phoenix House in Springfield, which helps people struggling with alcohol and drug addiction get back on their feet. Because what it gives for people is the chance to structure their lives, really think through their, their, their issues, to live an alcohol and drug-free life. The alcohol sales tax has generated more than $100 million in dedicated funding for addiction-related services. Recovering addicts call those services life-saving. Like I said, if I didn't have this tax, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be rebuilding my life. I think everybody can relate that they know somebody or somebody in their family that has a problem with alcohol or drug abuse, and these programs do. They save lives. For more information on that group, you can log on to our website at WWLP.com.